Hi guys, welcome welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I have to film this outside but I'm running late for my class and I hop on a cab and actually arrive earlier than I thought so I'm just gonna do a intro outdoors trying to not look weird in front of people. But yeah, um, today I tried out a new foundation. I think it's launched during March or April, I'm not sure. But it is the Bobbi Brown Skin No Wear Weightless Foundation in SPF 15 and PA++. And this foundation is supposed to be a full coverage and oil-free shine control um, foundation. So it's matte and high coverage. And um, let me show you their claim to be. They feature a perfectly balanced blend of skin loving ingredients, oil controlling actives, and it's supposed to have incredibly smooth and blend. It's supposed to be incredibly smooth and blendable. Um, oil control, but it's also moisture binding. But yeah, wait. <laughs> um, I'm in the shade Sand 2 and I am going to review this foundation today and I'll, of course I'm bringing you guys around, I already have my camera out today Oh, I found it! It is a 16 hour wear, buildable medium to full coverage foundation with a natural multi-dimensional matte finish that's comfortable, breathable, and weightless so it's supposed to be really, it's supposed to be matte but it's also really comfortable and we'll see how well it performs throughout the day and how well it stays on my skin because I have a drier skin type and this also claims yeah it's for normal combination to oily skin but I have more a combinational on my t-zone but dry on my cheeks so I think that's kind of combinational so I'll see how this foundation wear around and how well it stays on my face so if you guys want to see how well this foundation looks on my face please keep on watching before doing the foundation i already have my more sh i already have like my skincare done and then i have my primer and sunscreen which i am using the shiseido white lucent all day brightener sunscreen in spf 36 pa plus 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 and right now, and then after that, I'm using a combination of the Smashbox primerizer and the Professional Pore Filling Primer, which is the combination I've been using quite frequently right now. So now let's bring our star of the day, which is the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation with SPF 15 and PA++. Let's open her up. Um, I'm in the color scent number two. That's how it looks like in the box. And then the packaging, it's really expensive-y. Expensive-y? Ex feels expensive. And um, it's like a little matte glass outside. And it comes with the pump. It's 30 milliliter. Yeah, this thing is 30 milliliter. I don't know because I don't really use ounce. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my face with a damp beauty blender. So, it's gonna do a pump. Like, the foundation itself. It is pretty creamy like I can tilt it back it's not gonna fall apart and yeah like this and I'm gonna put it on my this half of my face and then now I'm gonna use a beauty blender to blend all the, blend them out okay so now it is half of my face with the foundation out this half and other than there's a little bit of um, difference in color it actually looks really skin like which I really like and I really ooh, ooh, I like I like it wait it feels like just in general make my face looks healthier and the thing is when it's like in the real life you can't even tell that I have 
foundation on on my right side of my face oh my god i i'm impressed i i like <laughs> i dig so i'm gonna put on the other half of my left side and see do i need a second layer or not or i just conceal it up and i'll be back with that so now oh my god it doesn't look like i have foundation on but i have a full face on now and it looks super natural like even in real life i can't even like if i i feel like if someone walk out with this kind of skin i will feel like wow that person have really nice skin which i know like without the pimples and stuff but it looks real like real i don't know how to say it but it looks super natural i i i love it like i like it i really like this kind of um no makeup makeup kind of feeling because um usually i know sometimes i like to do something more crazy and stuff but usually when i go out i sometimes wear some foundation on some brows and a little bit of lipstick which i would totally do with this foundation do you see this little glow glow on my skin i'm i like it i love it i don't know what else to say um but because um i'm my face is pretty like pretty dry like extremely dry so um and right now my face is not in a the perfect condition like my face are usually at i think starting from two weeks ago my my skin is starting to turn really weird like on my last is the last one on the video that i did the, the clown soul eater look that day my skin was actually really bad so um on my for like the part between my brows and some of my nose bridge it kind of accentuate my dryness there but um if your skin is more combination or even you have dry skin if you moisturize it pretty well i think this foundation will work for you and people who likes a natural look a natural finish of the foundation will also be really nice let me ah, let me show a close up of this foundation for you guys. Like, if you like screen, oh, how to say, zoom in really close, you can still see some of my um, problem area is still showing. And then because my face is really dry right now, so um, there's a little bit um, dryness happening over there. I don't think it's the best time for me to try out a matte foundation do you see the dry patches on there yeah it's because my face is really dry right now so i don't think it's like the best time for me to do a matte foundation review but today i am actually going out um in the morning i have to go to class which i am almost late yeah i have to go to class and then afternoon we're gonna like my friend and i are going to shopping and stuff and i heard that this foundation is supposed to stay up really well and i have like really longevity wearing so i will try that out today and see and i'll bring this camera out with you guys and see if it's actually long wearing and now because i'm late so i'm gonna go ahead and conceal and powder really fast and do my whole face and i'll be back before I bring you guys Sorry I have to film this on the car um, So this is how I look like with my today makeup on and uh, I think the foundation is um, actually doing pretty well right now other than yeah my, my dry patches and stuff Oh my god uh, My face is a little bit drier today so then I'm using a, I don't know if it's the new new concealer I'm using, I'm using the new, not new, I don't know. I bought a new Laura Mercier concealer and I was, I don't know which shade it is, I'll link it down um, below about the shade that the Laura Mercier concealer is, but yeah, other than my under eye is a little bit dry, it's been great and it's the beginning of the day and I'll just keep in touch with you guys and yeah, I'm going to class right now okay chicken time like right <laughs> um so I give it I, I'm giving a check-in now it's 2 42 which is 
when did I have my makeup on? I had makeup on around 8, I think. And then. Oh my god, it's already, it's already been 7 hours. I didn't know that's it's so long. But. Uh, this is how my face looks like. To be honest, to be honest, um, it's not staying um super well, but it's probably also that I've been wearing it for seven hours and I haven't touched up at all. But um. My nose is a little bit oily right now, um, but it's not super oily to the point that I have to touch up, but it's just a little bit oily. And my, how do you say, where is it, the cupid small area, like right after my, right under my nostrils, it's a little bit cakey in a way because usually foundation cake up during, in my area over here. Um, but it's not, but it's not as bad as my other foundation that can, that will actually cake on my skin when I don't have, when I'm not at like a good skin day. I don't think today is my good skin day because it's not that my skin is not in the best um, condition right now. But overall, this foundation is pretty good. It stays up, it stays up pretty well, um, especially my nose area is still on there it's not like some of the foundation i have it actually cake off or like looks really gross over there but it actually looks pretty good and the thing i really like about the foundation is it's really comfortable like you can't even feel like there's anything on my skin right now but yeah this is seven hours in my makeup time which is longer usually longer than um how my makeup will stay on usually I have it on for like maximum like maximum of eight hours so I'll still be out around and it's really hot outside so I'll check in with you guys later at a quieter like a quieter place I'm eating with my friends a little bit loud yeah I'll check in later <laughs> Okay, hi guys. Um, now is it is now 4:32 p.m. and I'm heading back home now. So I'm gonna give you guys a final check-in for the Bobby Brown Foundation. Mm, in general, I feel like it's a pretty good foundation if you have combination to oily skin, like what they claim. But today. Other than like this part, my skin between my eyebrows, it's a little bit dry and my under nose area here, can you guys see it? Even my nose area, it's getting pretty oily. So also Taiwan's weather is a little bit too crucial. I mean, it's, I think it's like 36 degrees Celsius and it's really humid outside and I don't know why but I'm wearing a long sleeve and it's kind of killing me right now so if you are in like more like a drier area or drier place with not so not so much humidity that will probably work for you but for me in general it's a good foundation I feel like if I do a better job on prepping my skin and um, maybe touch up a little bit more often during the day because I didn't touch up at all today it will look better on me so today is actually I'm probably gonna put the two video together last time I did a um, Bobbi Brown foundation review um, but that day was extremely hot and I don't think I have the right like skin care and the right tools to use stuff foundation so that foundation turns out not being really beautiful on my skin but this time I actually use a um I usually use a brush for my foundation and I'm gonna go ahead and see how well um a brush um, can pulls off the foundation yeah I'm gonna switch up my skincare and primer routine because last time I went to um, a, like a I think it's yeah 
Um, I think I went to the Laura Mercier store and I went to the Bobbi Brown store and also went to the Pony Effects store and they've been asking me what I how did I do my um primer, like my skincare before putting out makeup. And I said I did toner. I have to I put toner, essence, eye cream and like a cream, like a gel cream type uh, moisturizer because I have dry skin. And they all told me that um, maybe if your makeup is still caking up, it's maybe you put too much product and your your skin don't have time to absorb that well before you put on your primer. So I'm trying to... So then this time I'm not going to use my gel cream moisturizer this time. So and I'm gonna jump straight straight right to using the Laura Mercier foundation primer. And the lady told me that you have to be quite generous on this foundation primer. So I don't know how much ooh, how much is a generous amount, but this much? I think this much is okay. I usually use way less than this, but she said use more, so I'm just gonna put on my skin. And I think I want to put a little bit more in between my eyebrows, cause that's the part where I was really dry last time. Just gonna massage it in. And this time I'm not gonna use a pore refine uh, primer. Just using this one to see how well it works with the Bobbi Brown foundation. Now, I let it sit for like a minute or so. I think, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna apply the foundation with the brush this time because last time I used a sponge and when I go to Bobbi Brown counter, they say, oh, sponge is gonna work, but that might make your skin a little bit more dry because sponge absorb uh, water. So. I'm going to try out using a brush this time. I am using the Pony Effect foundation brush in 106. It is like a flat. Yeah, it's like a flat tip tilt flat brush. <laughs> yeah, it's like a kabuki brush, but it's a little bit slanted. You know the thing is I've never applied my own foundation with a brush before. So this is going to be a new experience for me. So this is half of my face with foundation with using a brush. This is the half that I'm talking about. Surprisingly, I feel like the brush is giving me a more natural finish than using a sponge. Because I can barely, I can barely see I have foundation on my face. And I think this is like the right amount of makeup that I want to put on. So I'm going to do another half on my face and uh, I'll be back with my other half. So this is how my face look like when I have um, one pump each side and my face is looking pretty natural right now. I will be off camera to finish my face and I will bring you guys with me around today also because I want to do a little check-in throughout the day so yeah so now I have finished my face makeup um, it's been around an hour because I also filmed a different video on um, swatching the NYX 36 shades of soft matte cream if that video is up before this video i'll go ahead and link it but yeah that is probably that's how my skin what am i talking that's how my skin look like right now um it's been pretty well and yeah i'll bring you guys around and i'll see you guys later okay so <laughs> okay she want to be featured so hey guys i don't know no so I'm gonna give a check-in now. It's 3.15. I have my makeup on around 8-ish. Uh, it's just 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
two, three. So I have my makeup on for seven hours now. It's actually really long than what I used to have my makeup on. And surprisingly, my face has been looking really well. Really well. Um, I feel like applying this foundation with a brush did help a lot. My face is looking smoother. I don't have any dry patches. Um, other than my nose area, it's a little bit oily. Um, yeah. But it's just my skin, so my T-zone is a little bit oily, so that's not gonna change anytime soon, I think. Um, but overall, my skin have been looking really nice today. It looks like my face in a good condition without foundation. I feel like that's well, I was like, that's what the Bobbi Brown foundation is giving the vibe to me. Yeah. Um, I will go ahead and check in around 7 p.m. because it's break time in my SIT class and I'm vlogging in my classroom. It's really awkward. I don't really want to do this, but I just feel like it would be nice if I give you a check in. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. So hey guys, I am back. It's currently 7.24 p.m. It's been around, wow, it's been around 13 hours since I have this foundation on. And let me show you guys a closer look on how my foundation looks like. In general, like my nose area, the foundation is basically all off. I don't have, I don't think there's any foundation left on my nose anymore. But in terms of my cheek, my forehead, um, foundation is still on there. But um, because throughout the day, um, I feel like my oil just kind of went through the foundation and kind of not break down, but some of my imperfection, like my pimples and stuff, are showing more and more. But, but in general, it's still a pretty good foundation. I feel like um, the foundation definitely worked better with brush other than sponge. I don't know why, but um, my face just looks so much better. Because my face, when I use the sponge, my face looks super heavy and super cakey for some reason. But when I use a brush, it looks really light and like airbrush and it also feels really lightweight just like when i use the sponge so then like the only thing that's not that didn't change is that it feels super super lightweight even with a sponge application up but i only have one layer on so it didn't really cover my dark circle my heavy pimples and stuff but in general my face did look really healthy after i applied this foundation so yeah, I, I kind of, yeah, I recommend this foundation a lot to um, oil combination, even for dry skin. If you do, if you have like a better prep work on your foundation, it will look better. So yeah, so if you guys want to try out this foundation, I should definitely do it. Um, I feel like their shade name is a bit weird because I am sand two, which is usually a darker complexion for darker complexion. I feel like sand is for darker complexion, but for some reason that shade is actually, I feel like it's a little bit light for my skin right now because it's summer, I got a little bit more tan. So just don't buy it with your usual like, color number. And, and thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bottom button. button. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!